y'all doing today? So it's day 26. Four more days together, you guys. Four more days. Thank y'all who continue to watch my videos every day. You only got four more days left of me. My fast will be over. And this will be 30 days of getting to know each other. Looking inside the thought process of Nikki Young. <laughs> Y'all probably think I'm crazy, huh? I don't know. Don't everybody got a little bit of crazy in them? It just takes whatever situation to bring it out of them. I think everybody got a little crazy in them. But anywho, today's Bible verse comes from Isaiah 26 and 4. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord himself is the rock eternal I get it. another version said the rock of all ages you know how they be word and stuff sometimes I just be like what y'all see I try to do me a little bun but some of my hair is shorter and so you got something sticking out but it's alright it's cool we go work with it but today's topic, day 26, we're talking about settling. Are you settling in a job, in a marriage, in just a relationship, in life, period? Are you settling? Are you really, truly happy where you at? Do you feel like you deserve more? Are you trying to get more? Or are you just comfortable with where you at because you're used to it? Stepping outside of your comfort zone is very scary because you're doing all new things, things you ain't never done before. Like this, me talking. <laughs> You're like talking, yes. I really don't talk like that. Uh, I'm an observer, so I observe things. I'm not much of a communicator. So, this right here is new for me. And in the beginning, if y'all watched like the first beginning of the videos, I said, um, a lot. Like, every other word was like, um, um. But I've been noticing as the videos go on that I don't say um as much. Popcorn. You gonna eat my popcorn? Yep. I'm hungry. <sighs> you should have ate your banana instead of throwing it on the ground. Good boy. Mm-hmm. She didn't throw it as she said. But, how do you know that you're settling in life? I think you know that you're... Good grief, I thought I... <laughs> My bad, y'all. I thought I put this phone on silent, but it don't seem like I did. Woo. Okay. Now nah, it's on silent. Um, I think... You know if you settling in life, if you still feel empty. I think once you, my bad, my boobies trying to come out my bra, yeah. It was irritating me. Um, I think once you hit where you supposed to be in life, I think you you find peace. You like truly happy, like the happiest you've ever been in life, and you just like you become okay where you at. That that's where you're supposed to be at. But if you have this feeling like you're still empty, like it's still more you should be doing, 
but you ain't doing it. I think that's you settling. And you do supposed to be doing more. Like, I think so many years of my life I was unhappy because, one, at first I didn't know what exactly I was supposed to be doing. So I was kind of just like floating through life. Just hoping that I stumble or run into what exactly I am supposed to be doing. Then, when I realized I love designing clothes, then it kind of, it's kind of like everything else started piecing itself together. And it all started because I chose to start the journey to learn who God is and what he means to me. Um, because of that, he helped me to see that designing the fashion industry is where I'm supposed to be. And then from there, as I continue to grow in the fashion industry, now I feel like the fashion and stuff is my talent. So I'm using my talent to basically put me in the platform to do God's purpose. You have a talent, and then you got God's purpose. So my talent is sewing. But my purpose, God want me to talk to people. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Because I don't have it figured out. How can I be, how can I help someone else? When I don't even have it completely figured out. I knew I, I've always loved helping people ever since I was little. Because my mom got real sick when I was young in elementary school. So I helped her all the way until I got out of high school. And my sister had a baby at a young age. So I was helping take care of the baby also. So... I've always just loved helping people in whatever way I can. I think before I wasn't necessarily really helping people. I was enabling people. And I recently recently learned the difference between enabling <laughs> and helping somebody. Because sometimes you could be thinking you legitimately look. I can't even talk today. <laughs> like legitimately is, is did I say it right I hope so yeah I know what I'm saying um you know you legitimately thinking you helping somebody but really in a way you holding them back in life because you're not allowing them to learn when you get in the way of allowing somebody to learn their lesson you're enabling them and so you have to find, even if that person get mad, you got to find the right balance in helping them and not getting in the way of what God is trying to show them so that they can learn their lessons and, you know, keep moving forward. Some people intentionally enable folks because they want control over them and keep them in, like, keep them where they want to be. So, you know, <laughs> I wasn't, you know, intentionally trying to hold anybody back. But if I did, I'm sorry. I just, I legit thought I was helping. Um, but it's people out here, they're not patient enough to wait on God. So, they just jump in a relationship because they alone and they lonely. Shit. Excuse my language. <laughs> I'm lonely, but I'm not just going to jump in no relationship. I ain't had too many bad, re you know, relationships because of me just jumping in relationships and not getting to, fully getting to know people before, you know, 
stuff hit the fan. So it started off all good and googly, and then you know once you move past the honey honeymoon phase, you begin to hate each other. So yeah, I'm trying. You know, I'm trying to learn my lesson now. <laughs> So yeah, I can see my, see me. So I felt like I was sitting too far up. There we go. Okay, yeah. So yeah, people settling in relationships because they feel like they can't get no better and they miserable. People that's married and not married but still in relationships. Those people are ruining it for us single people. It's so many single people scared to be in relationships and get married because of people who settle in relationships. Because they out here telling folks, don't get married because of this, 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 this. Well, if you wouldn't have settled and you would have been patient and waited for God to send you your soulmate, you wouldn't have been, you wouldn't feel like being married or being committed is such a burden. You would actually love it. Even during the bad times, you would still just love being around that person. Because your soulmate, you just got that connection. And no matter how much you mad at them, you can never see yourself without them. <sighs> I can tell you, I am terrified of getting married. I used to want to get married so bad, but after being in bad relationships and seeing people who settled in love, you know, you guys, I never started my timer. <laughs> I don't even know how long I've been sitting up here talking. That just made me think of that. I don't know why, but it did. So, I'm going to just say I've been talking for like 10 minutes. So, we go, we go put 20 minutes left on, it, on the clock. But, because... Somebody just invited me out. My bad, you guys. Trying to decide if it's worth going. Because it's going to take me an hour to get there. So, I don't know. But back to what I was saying. I used to <laughs> want to be in a relationship so bad. And, I mean, not just a relationship. That, too. I just used to want to be in a relationship so bad. But now, I'm out of that phase. Right now, I'm like at the phase I, I could care less if I'm in a relationship or not. I do get lonely, but I, I still, at the end of the day, I be like, I want to be with somebody. But then when people start acting crazy, they be like, you know what? I'm okay. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm glad to be single. I don't want to go through that right now. I'm, not, I'm mentally not ready for all of that right now. I just, I need some peace. I need to relax, you know, just, I focus on this sewing and growing my business and my daughter and school, you know, that's good. Relationship, too stressful, <laughs> don't need that right now. But I, I used to want to get married so bad. And after seeing all these relationships with people just jumping into something, settling, you know, not really taking the time to know, is this person really right for me? Is this person the person I legit can see myself with for the rest of my life? Like the rest of it. Until death do us part. That's how I think. You know, maybe other people don't think like that because they like, you can just get a divorce. But I don't believe in divorces. Like... That's just my opinion, but I don't believe it. I want to be married once, and 
I want it to be forever. Like, I don't want to be married multiple times. Like, and that's why I'm okay with not rushing to get married. Because, I mean, the only time I feel like a divorce is necessary if, is if you got a man beating on you. But that's why you should be patient and really get to know folks. Because I'm pretty sure he shows signs of beating that ass before y'all got together. So, I'm just saying, if you was patient, you would have known he was a woman beater. But, that or cheating. Because once, once they cheat, they go continue to cheat. It's like a thrill or something. The thought of not getting caught, or even if they do get caught, and you decide to let them stay, then they no longer respect you because you let them stay. So they like, she don't really care because she let me stay, so I'm going to keep doing it. So them two things right there, that'll get you cut off quick. Like, ink, gone. Bye-bye. So, <laughs> I'm just over here taking my time, trying not to settle to be with just anybody because I'm lonely. Because I want to be married once. And I want it to be forever. I want to take my vows seriously. Like, to death do us part. You only leaving me through death when God call you home. <laughs> Other than that, you not leaving me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I might as well just be by myself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you settling in a job? I settled in plenty of jobs just to have one, just so I could take care of my daughter. But since my car accident and I've been sitting at home and I've been doing what God tell me to do, and he been making stuff work. I'm just like, I might as well just keep doing this, you know, instead of just going to sit at somebody's job where they dictate how much I'm going to make, and they dictate the hours I'm going to work, and they dictate whether I'm going to have a job or not, depending on... If I'm late a couple times or not. You know, it's just so much control. And it, it, me being a single parent, I just don't need nobody to have that much control over me and my income. I don't want to be making a certain amount, get used to that amount. And then for some reason you say... I don't have this job no more, <laughs> and then I'm broke. And it's like, wait, whoa, my bills, they still coming. And you just go cut me off. My child still need to eat. That's why I'm no longer settling in a job. That's why I'm going to take the chance to believe in myself, trust what God promised me, and go after my dream. Are you just settling in life, period? I, I was settling in life. I thought life was just waking up, going to work, going back home, having fun when you can, I guess. But then I drove 18 wheelers back in 2014 through 2015. And being able to travel like that through all 48 states, it opened my eyes and my mind. 
Like, even though I knew it was more to Georgia, that really, like, just pushed me to be like, it's more out here than Georgia. No, I know I don't currently live in Georgia anymore. It's just... It just don't feel the same. I guess once you get out and you go back, you just be like, I escaped this month. <laughs> like, I go back to visit. I go back to visit. But to live, I'm not sure if I ever want to go back to living in Georgia. But I go visit. It's a, it's a cloth store that, that I love to go to all the time. But, I don't know. So now, that I got a taste of traveling, I want to do travel, some more traveling, but out of the United States. It's like, once you take that one step outside your comfort zone, and you no longer settle in whatever it is you're settling, it's like you begin to grow you begin to heal. You start feeling whole. Like you're not missing anything. And I'm starting to feel like I'm not missing anything. And I think the whole begin to like it, it officially closed when I was living in Chicago because I felt like I was empty because I didn't really know my dad and his side of the family so I think I felt like I was missing something from there but I went to Chicago <laughs> I got to know his side of the family and now I'm good I'm just like okay I I know who y'all are now, and I'm I'm good now. I'm okay. I understand. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk. I ain't gonna go into depth in that. <laughs> but I'm good. <laughs> Sometimes that's all people be needing. It's not even you need that connection really. It, sometimes it's just knowing, being curious, just knowing, like, what would my life be like if this person was around? Okay, now I know. Oh, okay, now I'm good. <laughs> you know? So, I'm good. Are you settling? Do you want more? What are the steps that you're going to take to get that? If you already married, I, I cannot say divorce your spouse. That goes against God. He said you should never tell somebody to leave their spouse. But If your spouse is mistreating you and you don't feel happy, you should make those decisions on where to go from that. Or what would truly make you happy. There's no point of being miserable to appease somebody else. Because I guarantee they won't make themselves miserable to appease you. And that's a fact. I learned that the hard way. Ain't nobody gonna make themselves miserable to appease you. So don't do that to yourself. Be happy. God just wants us all to be happy. For real. No matter what y'all think. He legit wants us to be happy. But because we're impatient. Because we don't want to work hard and we want the easy way out. We listen to the enemy. And he put us in bad situations. 
where we then turn around and blame God instead of looking at the person in the mirror that put themselves in that position. You did that. Just like I put myself in every bad position that I ever been in. I did that. And you're never going to grow until you learn to accept that. Tell yourself, I am responsible. Well, I can say being an adult, I'm responsible. But under 18... It depends. <laughs> if something happened to you, I think, you know, it's your parents' responsibility. But if you're a teenager and you just put yourself in a stupid predicament that, like, landed you in jail or something like that, that's your fault. But take ownership. You can't just go around and be blaming folks for stuff that you did. Yes, that person hurt you, but you know what? You allowed them to come in. You ignored all the red flags because you just wanted to be with that person. So you initially hurt it yourself. Yes, they hurt you, but you knew they was going to hurt you, and you still let them in. It's a difference between somebody who loves you and might make a mistake and somebody that is intentionally trying to hurt you. It's a difference. And you can feel it and you know it. But we are so addicted to the pain. So addicted to the hurt and just the disappointment that we always go after the stuff we know. It's not good for us. I don't know what's wrong with our brains. It's like we program to destroy ourselves and everything around us. And it starts with settling. When you settle, you start feeling disappointed in life. You start feeling disappointed in everything around you. Just sad and hurt. And then you put that hurt on other people. Make them feel sad. All that other stuff. We got to start taking responsibility for ourselves. Heal ourselves. It's okay to be by yourself. You know, if you want to hang out with people, go hang out with people. But, hey, all the people that called their, themselves <laughs> my friend at one point. Majority of them married and in a relationship. Do that make me feel weird sometimes? Yes, because I be like, dang, what, what the heck is wrong with me? <laughs> Why don't nobody want to marry me? What, what's wrong with me? Am I like that difficult to be around? I don't think I'm a difficult person. Maybe I'm too easygoing, you know? People like a little, like a little feisty in their relationship. They want a girl that's that's feisty, you know, talking junk, talking back to them, you know, cursing them out. But I just, I one, I don't know how to curse, so I'm not gonna just sit there and be cursing nobody out. I, I me trying to curse is horrible. It, it it just make me mad trying to figure out how to say the correct curse words and the correct terms, you know, to you. To the point I don't even want to talk about whatever we mad about no more. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I never been good at cursing. So, I just, you might hear me slip up and say, like, shit sometimes. Because my aunt and uncle, they say it all the time. They be like, shit, shit, shit. They always saying shit. So I might just slip up and say shit a couple of times. 
maybe damn, you know, like the basic, you know, the basic stuff. Depending on if I'm like mad or in the moment or something, I might slip up, slip up, and say a, a couple of words like that. But that extravagant cursing, that's not me. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Mm -mm. And so <laughs> I know I'm just all over the place, just just talking. But that's how I talk. I don't know. It's my ADD, my unable to focus, so my mind just be bouncing around from stuff to stuff. <laughs> and if I tried to write it down and say it, it just went, it just went feel right. So I just be, you know, going off the top of my head with these topics and talking about it and stuff like that, you know. Here come my daughter. I want to hear what she about to say. So, I only got one minute left. Yeah, don't settle people because Settling sometimes can get you killed. Like these doctors. I've been to so many doctors. No explanation on to what's going on in my stomach. So, instead of settling and being okay with what they told me, I am... That's why I'm doing this 30-day fast. And I've been working out, eating up of vegetables and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, I will at the end of the 30 days I have clarity on what I need to do to get the necessary help that I need. That I know I need. These daughters keep saying it's nothing serious, but I know it's serious because I can feel the change in my body. I've been having heart problems, heart just racing all the time. Doctors want me to go see a heart doctor. But it's like, if y'all won't even fix the stomach problem, why go see a heart doctor? Who knows, the stomach problem could be causing the heart problem. But y'all won't even fix the original source. Because I'm black, and you think I don't know what I'm talking about. They even call me fat. <laughs> so that's why I've been working out. The, so they can see when the weight fall off and my stomach's still swollen, it's a serious problem and you need to help me. And I'm not going to settle until I find the right doctor who's going to help me. So don't settle, people. Settling is death. Because you're going to feel like it. If you're dead or not, you're going to feel like it. You're going to feel like you're dead because you're settling. Don't settle. If you don't know what you're supposed to be doing, get in contact with God. He'll show you. But sometimes getting to the next part, knowing what you're supposed to do, requires sacrifice and I talked about that in my other video sacrifice go have to cut that them friends off that you know you shouldn't be around because they holding you back you go have to cut that girl or that dude off that you know ain't right for you that's holding you back you go have to make some sacrifices and people don't want to make them sacrifices so they settle. <laughs> but me, oh, I'm cutting. I'm cutting. Because I ain't settling, you know. I need more. I've been struggling all my life. Like, I'm tired of struggling. I need more. More than what I'm used to. I'm okay with being outside of my comfort zone. Cause I've been in comfort zone for 20, I'm 29. 
I've been on this journey, well, the past two years, I've been really digging deep into this journey. So, 27 years of my life in the comfort zone, miserable as heck, not knowing what to do, just living day to day, waiting to die, basically. Then I decided to get out of my comfort zone, open my mind to know there is no box. In the box, out the box, there is no box. There is no box. There is no limits. If you want it, go get it. Because it ain't going to come to you. Go get it. Thank y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Day 27 tomorrow. See y'all back here. Thank y'all for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all of that. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Peace.